Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about five things that you guys are probably lacking within your relationship. And you can definitely know if you're getting these things fairly early on in the relationship before you commit into a long-term relationship and especially before marriage. As always guys, please leave it in the comments whether you agree or disagree with any of these. Number one, most men in relationships are lacking the same level of effort from their woman. This is definitely evident in the early stages of dating. And I do think that love languages do play a role here because a lot of men, you know, they might show effort through acts of service because a lot of women appreciate that. So he might go get her car detailed and what a lot of men would desire because of their love language being more likely physical touch would be, you know, something like a massage or even head scratches from his woman. So again, it's not that she needs to go and detail his car the next time. Like it's not true one for one. It's going to look different depending on what your partner really desires and how they receive love. Number two, I think a lot of men are going to relate to and that is the lack of respect for his hobbies and the way that he decides to spend his downtime. What I see time and time again is women putting down a man's hobbies. And because of this, because she doesn't really respect his hobby, she can have a problem oftentimes with him planning, even if it's way in advance, to plan to have time to do that hobby away from her because it takes away from time with her or from the family. Most families, you know, you can allow for a few hours away for, you know, one parent. And then, especially because men are willing to reciprocate that, you know, instead of it feeling like she needs to just say no to him, she should feel like she can do something for herself as well. And there should be that back and forth. All it really takes is a conversation, a conversation about what you desire to spend your time doing, what is important to you. And then your partner should be able to do the same. And it should really be a team effort and probably some compromise. And you'll find a happy medium to where he is still able to enjoy some hobbies. I think that what a lot of couples end up falling into is that a woman may just really not like it. And sometimes maybe he'll go and do it anyways, but then there's like, you know, resentment built up and it hasn't really been worked through, which is not ideal. A recent trend on TikTok that has reminded me of just the disrespect that a lot of women have is the Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift trend where a wife is telling her husband that it isn't it just amazing how Taylor Swift has just put Travis Kelsey on the map and that now he's well known because of her and <laughs> of course any uh, football fans reaction as a man has been basically disbelief and um, <laughs> not understanding. The reason why this trend is so much more funny to women than I think it is to men is because women see this hobby, right? football viewing or understanding the players in and out as not very important and you know Taylor Swift is just a whole nother level and there's just this disconnect of no it's just because women are more interested in one and men are more interested in the other and it doesn't mean one is more well known than the other. Number three men typically do not receive love when they are in an active argument or disagreement with their woman. And this is tough for men because I think most of them will just swallow it, you know, and they'll just kind of get through it. But women, if they're in the same position, if they're having a disagreement with their man, they have the need to feel comforted and loved still or else they don't react very well. But on the flip side, women will withdraw their love. And that's tough because if a woman could show love even through a disagreement argument, it really indicates loyalty and commitment to her man. And it doesn't mean that you have to be all lovey-dovey, but e even just the ability to remain in a conversation through communicating and compromising instead of giving the silent treatment uh, that feels really good to a man. Number four, appreciation. These are basic 
thank yous. I think the lack of thank yous is because women are demanding more from their husbands, which I I think there obviously has been a lot of changes over the last couple of generations that are good changes. But the problem with these changes is if women are going into a relationship with very high expectations and then they feel like, you know, they're justified in not needing to say thank you because that's just the bare minimum. And no man is going to feel appreciated if he feels or is told that he is just doing the bare minimum. Appreciation can also be through actions that indicate respect like not trying to control when or how he does something and definitely not criticizing him for doing something wrong when he's literally just helping. The last one, number five, is being prioritized. Men will oftentimes feel this even in the early dating stages when a woman cancels on him, when she prioritizes her friends, when she decides to work late instead of seeing him as planned. There's all these indicators that will make you feel like you're prioritized or not. And a lot of times it's men that will let that go under the radar, whereas women, if they don't feel like they're being prioritized, especially early on when dating, uh, they're, you know, they're out the door, they're gone. A lot of men are gonna feel this one that have kids because we all know that this is a common fault of women is that they will start to punt their kids first. Maybe even the dog comes first. Probably even chores in the household comes first. And a cycle that I see a lot of women go through is she is doing a lot of the household tasks and she's upset at him for not doing his fair load. But what does she do? She ends up just doing it all, right? and then she eliminates their time. So she's basically holding resentment for him not doing a fair share. And then secondly, there's a disconnect between them because they're not spending quality time together. But the bottom line is that men will step up. They will do those things that you need him to do. They will do their fair share, but they need to feel like they are being prioritized. And most all men will be very receptive to doing the things that you're asking him to do, to pick up the load in the household, in order to have more time together. Which brings me back to my point, men, that I want you to pay attention to these five things that we went through when you're looking at your next relationship or in your current relationship. Let me know in the comments what you guys have experienced, if you are lacking these or if you've experienced lacking them in the past, or if you're one of the lucky ones and you're not lacking any of these, you're, you're in a good relationship. All right, guys, that is it for today. I'll see you next week.